History will be made tonight, but will it be seen as the beginning of the end of the nomination process or just the end of the beginning? If frontrunners Trump and Clinton sweep tonight, it could be all but over. But if voters surprise us, like Sanders' upset in Michigan last week, the suspense could stretch into May and June. Candidates Kasich and Rubio are running in their home states this evening, so for them it is do or die on the Ides of March. For Republicans, 358 delegates are up for grabs in Illinois, Ohio, Missouri, North Carolina, and Florida, and we'll begin tonight with Major Garrett. Ohio Governor John Kasich voted for himself in suburban Columbus today. How do you I feel? feel great. We're going to win. I feel terrific. It's great. You know, do I seem like I'm nervous or uptight? Kasich has tried to run a largely positive campaign, but today criticized Donald Trump for his past comments about women. Bimbo, dog, fat pig. Now strung together in this anti-Trump super PAC ad. I have two daughters. They see this stuff. What do you think they think? Ohio is going to make America great again. After days of unrest at Trump rallies, there were no disruptions at his final stop in Ohio last night. Security was noticeably beefed up. Well, I'm going to review it. Trump also backed away from comments he made Sunday that he would consider paying legal fees for a North Carolina supporter charged with assault for punching a Trump protester. I don't condone violence, and I didn't say I was going to pay for uh, So you're not going to? Fees. No, I didn't, I didn't say that. In the state that always makes the difference. Marco Rubio campaigned into the night yesterday and today dismissed polls showing him running well behind Trump in his home state of Florida. I think a lot of people are going to be embarrassed tonight and uh, are going to want refunds from the money they spent on these polls because we're going to win Florida. And we feel very optimistic about that. Ted Cruz made five stops yesterday in Illinois, a state his campaign believes is winnable. There is only one campaign in a position to beat Donald Trump and win the Republican nomination. Cruz's strategy has been to hunt for delegates in non-winner-take-all states to offset expected Trump gains elsewhere. Scott, if Kasich wins Ohio this evening, from the perspective of gathering delegates, could be as much Cruz's as it is Trump's. Major, thanks very much.